Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. We were doing circles from class 10, ML Agarwal, exercise 15.2 and we have done till sum number 13. For the previous video, you can see the description box. Let us continue the sums after that. Let us see sum number 14, ML Agarwal, exercise 15.2, class 10. In the adjoining figure, ABC is an isosceles triangle. So they have told is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC and circle passing through B and C intersect side AB and AC at D and E. Prove that required to prove is DE is parallel to BC. These two lines are, these two chords are parallel to each other. Very easy. Just look over here. Uh, A, sorry, yeah. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And AB is equal to AC. Which means the angle opposite to AB and the angle opposite to AC will be same. Yes or no? Angle ABC is equal to ACB. That's isosceles triangle for you. Now look carefully. BCED is a cyclic quadrilateral. Yes or no? And in a cyclic quadrilateral, just remember this. External angle is equal to opposite interior angle. Angle ADE is equal to angle BCA. Why? Because exterior angle equals to opposite interior angle in case of a cyclic quadrilateral. Now look carefully. So this is X. So angle ADE is equal to X, which means angle, just look over here. Angle ADE is equal to angle ABC. X and X. And if this happens, then by corresponding angle property, we can say that DE is parallel to BC by corresponding angle property. See, if two lines are parallel, if, if, try to understand, then this angle and this angle are equal, corresponding. Now the converse. If these two angles are equal, then these two lines are parallel to each other by corresponding angle property. Same thing, if these two angles are equal, then these two has to be parallel because that is the only scenario when these two angles are equal. Done? Chal. We'll do number 15 now. Look at 15 part A. Prove that a cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle. And 15 part B is prove that a cyclic rhombus is a square. Both are interrelated. If you know how to do this, then this will be also done. Let us look at number one. Prove that a cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle. So we draw a circle. And suppose this is my parallelogram A, B, C, D. Okay? Just look carefully. Now, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. They have given this. We need to prove that if it is cyclic, then it's a rectangle. Now, angle A is equal to angle C and angle B equals to angle D. Opposite angle of a parallelogram. Yes or no? In a parallelogram, the opposite angle are equal. So if this angle is X, then this is X. If this angle is Y, then this is Y. Yes or no? Now look carefully. In a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary, which means can I write x plus x is 180. Similarly, y plus y is 180. Why? Because A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Yes or no? Which means 2x is 180. x is 90 degree. 2y is 180. y is 90 degree. Which means all the angles becomes 90 degree. And in a parallelogram, in a 
parallelogram if all the angles are 90 degree it implies a parallelogram is a rectangle rectangle is a type of parallelogram only even if one of the angle becomes 90 degree then it's a rectangle done chal now we look at part this was part 1 a parallelogram which is cyclic is a rectangle these two are equal these two are equal by parallelogram property this plus this is 180 so we got all the angles is 90 degree hence it is a rectangle okay now we will see the next part what they have told prove that a cyclic rhombus is a square which means same logic look over here we have a circle we have suppose uh, this is a horrible diagram you know we have a circle okay and we have a rhombus like this okay they've given it's a rhombus we need to prove that a b c d a b c d is a rhombus in which we know in rhombus all the sides are equal we need to prove that if it's a cyclic rhombus then it's a square look carefully again a b c d is a rhombus yes or no which means rhombus is nothing but a parallelogram which means opposite angles are equal yes or no angle a equals to angle c angle d equals to angle b rhombus opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal because it's a parallelogram now it's a cyclic quadrilateral so x plus x is 180 opposite angle add to give 180 y plus y is 180 cyclic quadrilateral yes or no which means 2x is 180 x is 90 degree 2y is 180 which means y is 90 degree which means all the angles are 90 degree so a b c d is a rectangle you can say first of all though which means all the angles are 90 degree now all the sides are also equal all the sides are equal which means a b c d is a square because in square all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal to 90 degree all the angles 90 degree it becomes a rectangle now all the sides are equal so rectangle converts to a square yes or no same logic Chalo. we'll do some number 16 now we'll look at number 16 in the adjoining figure cot a b and c d of the circle are produced to meet at o prove that the triangle o d b prove that triangle o d b is similar to triangle o a c this is the first part then given that c d is 2 cm d o is 6 cm b o is 3 cm calculate a b also find the area of the quadrilateral CABD and area of triangle OAC step by step just look over here first of all we need to prove that triangle OBD OBD and OAC are similar very easy just look over here in triangle ODB and triangle OAC angle D O B angle just look D O B is equal to angle A O C this angle is common to this angle is common number two this angle and this angle are equal because A B D C is a cyclic quadrilateral exterior angle equals to opposite interior angle so I can say that angle O D B angle O D B is equal to O A C O A C why exterior angle equals to opposite interior angle in case of a cyclic quadrilateral 
and ABDC is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, two angles are same, which means, which means triangle ODB, ODB is similar to triangle OAC, angle, angle property. If two angles are equal, the two triangles are uh, similar to each other. And be careful, the corresponding angle should be at the respective place, which means O corresponds to O, D corresponds to A, the vertex, and B corresponds to C. So first part is done. Second part, what they have given? Just look over here. By angle angle property, okay? Second part. CD is 2 cm. DO is 6 cm. BO is 3 cm. They have asked for AB. Very easy, look. Now, these two triangles are similar. Which means, the corresponding sides will be proportional to each other. See, triangle... ODB is similar to triangle OAC. Okay, this is given to us. We have done in similarity. OD by OA, OD by OA is equal to DB by AC is equal to OB by OC. Remember? We have done this. OD, OD by OA. DB by AC and OB by OC will be same. That is why it is very important to write in a correct manner. The vertices, you know, which are equal, the vertex which are equal should be in the correct position. Angle O and angle O is equal. Angle D and angle A is equal. Angle B and angle C is equal. Okay. Now just substitute the value. Suppose AB is X. OD. OD is 6. OA x plus 3, db, we don't know, ac, we don't know, ob, ob is 3, oc, ob and oc is 8, look carefully, 6 plus 2, now equate these two, so 6 by x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 8, so 8 3 is a 3 1 time, 3 2 times, 8 2 is a 16 equals to x plus 3, x equals to 13 centimeter which means a b is 13 centimeter done yes or no done now the last part area of quadrilateral c a b d and area of triangle o a c now we know see these two triangles are similar area of triangle o d b by area of triangle OAC will be the square of these. Yes or no? Which means OD by OA square, DB by AC square, OB by OC square. Yes or no? Definitely. Look carefully. The area of triangle ODB by area of triangle OAC. I am taking the last one. You can take you can take this also. I am taking this. OB. OB is 3. OC. OC is 8. Square. Yes or no? That's 9 by 64. 9 by 64. Which means, can I write area of triangle ODB as 9K and area of triangle OAC 64K. Because the ratio is given to us. A is to B is 9 is to 64. So A we can take as 9K. Where K is a common factor. And B we can take as 64K. Now look. Area of. Just be careful. Area of quad. CABD. CABD. Look carefully. Just look carefully. The entire area is 64. This area is, this is 9k. The entire is 64. So this part will be 64k minus 9k. Yes or no? Which means 55k. Which is 55k. Then ratio, what they have told? Ratio of area of quadrilateral CABD, which is 55k by triangle OAC. 
O A C. O A C is sixty four k, which means the ratio will be fifty five is to sixty four. Then you need to know similarity for this sum. If you don't know similarity, then you can't do. And we have done similarity in our previous videos. Okay. Sure. This was the last sum for the exercise. Keep it till here in this video. In the next video, we'll definitely do tangent and second properties of circle. Till then, take care and be safe. If you like the video, subscribe and share with your friends.